world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I have shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times, I like to give my two cents as to what's going on with autism in the media and how autism is portrayed in our societies. And finally, I also like to cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And today I would like to talk about how autism is perceived in our media and in our society and our communities. And uh, the name of this a vlog is entitled The Human Detour System. And I will get to that in a little while as to why I'm calling that. In the meantime, I'm going to give you guys a little summary. So what society has said or perceived about autism and has made us perceive or made you perceive is that autism is a pervasive developmental disorder and they you have one individual they can't talk they yeah, can't open their mouth like I can so they're uh, they're hopeless because uh, they jump around and they have tantrums and panic attacks and they have IPs or an individualized education plan and in that plan, this is their cue. It's at 70. It's never going to grow. And they can't do this. They can't do that. Therefore, they have a developmental disability because they can't read social cues and they can't do this and they can't do that. And there are people in our society that think autism is very black and white. Like, you know, you're, you're either a savant genius and you're mild and high functioning autistic and or the other side is like I was talking about of the nonverbal book the nonverbal kid who can't do this and can't do that. Well, here's what I have to say about that. Uh, first of all, um, what, the, what the latest studies are discovering and what a lot of optimistics are out there doing are they are starting to look at what a child can, can do rather than what they cannot do. For instance, you know, the nonverbal autistic like Carly Fleischman, they found out that uh, even though she couldn't talk and she threw tam temper tantrums and panic attacks, they decided to uh, give her a voice with a computer. And uh, that didn't mean that she couldn't talk. It just means she does it a different way. Her brain, t her brain d does all the talking all the time because she's thinking. So what I'm saying to that is uh, she has a human detour system. She does not have a disability. I mean, sure, her talking... Her her mouth her uh, her voice and her talking are disabled unless uh, she gets a speech therapist uh, to work with her or somebody like that. So I mean, she what she's learned to do is write books. And there's another young man from Japan that wrote the book Why I Jump, but I haven't uh, I haven't quite dove into it yet. But the point is, I think the term disability is used way too many times. I don't like that term, and I never will. I mean, I'm, I definitely know I don't have a disability. I have a human detour system. I uh, know that I'm not very good at um, reading comprehension. I mean, I can read just fine. I just uh, don't do very well on tests. However, I found out that I'm better at math than most people because at the last class I took, it was a research methods class. I was good at uh, statistics and not a lot of the other kids were. So. There you go. That's the human detour system right there. Or I cannot drive a car because uh, I have good eyesight, but uh, when I have objects really close to my face, my eyes do not do not change or transform. So I don't have good depth perception. And so I have to rely on the bus or take a bike or probably have a car with modifications in them. So, and. Uh, Please let me know what you think about this video and be sure to share it and subscribe, like what I have to say. And uh, until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I will see you soon. Bye.